Good morning, Eastern Stars. Today is Friday, January 5th, 2024. I'm Reagan. I'm Mr. Cooper. I'm Emma. And I'm Jasper. Friday's lunch choice? First choice is cheese pizza. Second choice is pepperoni pizza. Third choice is sun bar and jelly with Cheez-Its and a cheese stick. We have one very special birthday today. So happy birthday to Nevea and Mrs. Ferguson's class. Today there will be a 5% chance of snow with a high of 36 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't worry, we didn't skip the weekend birthdays. Reagan may have, but this right one. Here. Oh, also happy birthday on Sunday to Mira and Miss Miss Meyer class, and we hope you all have a wonderful birthdays. And something got deleted about Saturdays. Hold on, I know there's two of you. Don't um, worry, we're finding you right now. It's Hank and Pearl, right? Hank and Pearl. Yeah. Good memory. Let's double check, make sure that's true. Hank, tomorrow, happy birthday to Hank in Mrs. Schembarger's class and Pearl in Miss Sarah's class tomorrow. Okay, back to the, oh, this is a special announcement. It's really serious. Everybody listen up. This one is for the walkers after school. There's no throwing snowballs or ice balls at cars while waiting to cross the street. That's kind of crazy that we needed to say that, right? Yeah, there's no throwing snow at all but especially at cars okay let's just let's just hope that that doesn't happen again it shouldn't have happened in the first place so let's be very respectful to each other and to vehicles and no throwing snow or ice all right reagan oh are you so excited for this one let's go big game tonight tc central takes on tc west in basketball at TC West. Let's go Trojans. Let's go Trojans. Yes, Reagan can barely control herself. Uh, all right, Jasper, shout outs. Miss Sarah and Miss Amy would like to give a shout out to Harper, Adeline, Briar, and Sophie in fifth grade. They are a great help to use in our school, in our preschool class. Nice. Mrs. Nelson would like to give a shout out to the second grade students from Mrs. Culver's classroom who came into our classroom during the practice lockdown yesterday. They were all being safe and quiet. Nice job, guys. One more shout out. Ms. LeBerry would like to give a shout out to Rocky for working hard to finish his penguin report and showing others what it looks like to stay focused and on task. All right, that a boy, Rocky. Oh, and back to you because here is your corny joke of the day. What do you call a lazy baby kangaroo? Let people think about that. A lazy baby kangaroo. Ready? A pouch potato. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, yesterday, nobody came. Nobody, no. nobody had any suggestions. But Emma's riddle was what? I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? And the answer is? A map. A map. So clever. All right, so now, super special announcement. Something uh, unusual happened this morning. We acquired, we as in this fifth grade classroom, acquired a new creature. This guy right here is Newton Clark. Yes, he's got a last name because this was Winston Clark's GG in Miss Lane's class, her brother, uh, had this gecko right here and decided that Newton would get more attention here in a fifth grade class. So let's take a look. Got Newton kind of soaking in some water. Here we go, our newest gecko, Newton. So he's got different pattern. Isn't that interesting how his pattern in the on his body is just kind of like not much there for a pattern. He's got his tail's got some different coloration to him. And his head's got some different coloration, but his body's like pretty, pretty just, what would you call that, plain? Yeah, so this is Newton. We've been soaking him in some water to help him shed some skin off of his toes. We're gonna get to know him in the next few days and weeks and see if he can uh, get along well with the other geckos. We'll put him in there and see how they get along and who knows, maybe they'll all be living together harmoniously pretty soon. So we'll keep you posted on that. I'm gonna put, oh, look at this, his skin is getting shed off his toes. He doesn't like it, but I'm gonna help that skin come off. You put your finger by his chin and he'll right like it. there. Gonna get that skin off of there for you, Newton. Hey, 
coming right off. All right, we're gonna clean those toes up. I'm gonna put them back in the water so we can soak a little bit more. Super exciting news. So we'll get to know him as the days go on. Are we ready to send him off? That's all for today. Remember to be safe, trustworthy, attentive, and respectful. Be a star. Have a fadoodle Friday. What does fadoodle mean? Um, it means like nonsense and peculiar and unusual. Okay. All right. Hope you have that kind of Friday, everybody.